How To With John Wilson has been on HBO for a couple of years now, and for some reason I just had this unjustified aversion to starting it. I really can't think of what kept me from it. All of its promises on the surface were of things I've already valued in potential programming. It's simple, YouTube-esque production, providing an incredibly authentic experience. It's HBO, so there's a good chance it's the kind of quality I've come to expect. It's produced by Nathan Fielder, following the sad, untimely cancellation of Nathan For You, which I believe to be one of the greatest comedy shows of the past 10 years. Crack that shit. So for whatever reason it took me this long to watch it, I'm sorry, John Wilson. I should have said something about this a long time ago. If you have no idea what the show is or what the hell I'm talking about, fret not because I'm going to spend the next, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes telling you what makes this show so special. So come with me while we take a closer look at this demented world of ours through the lens of someone who pays a little bit more attention. I'm Andrew Mars and I just dropped my coffee on the fucking sidewalk again and this is how to see it all with John Wilson. The premise of this show is simple enough to pick up on within the first few minutes of the first episode. John Wilson walks around New York. A lot. Perma-wielding his camera, he captures the intimate moments that so many of us would likely pass by without acknowledgement. Each episodic premise is loosely cobbled together to serve as a memoir accompanying a clear and often elusive goal. John Wilson takes us through each journey with his insatiable curiosity fueling his expansive and voyeuristic search for universal truth. What we discover is often that these threads of information, as abundant and loose as they come, construct cohesive universality that touch on forces of human nature, community, authenticity, the need to connect, the need to be understood. I think we as the audience have a pretense to assume that these people won't react well to a stranger shoving a camera in their face. Because rarely is that met with the respect and generosity that John Wilson provides. But because of John's kindness and initial authentic presentation, people lower their guard and let us in. And what's often the result is a stranger becoming, well, not so strange anymore. Maybe it's John's non-threatening cadence. Maybe it's when he tells them it's for HBO. Maybe it's when they decide for themselves that they're going to share what's on their mind that the result is illuminating, personifying, and not what you were expecting. Like I said, he was a nudist. I think this strange man walking around New York, offering a channel for anyone to entertain, welcomes a cathartic experience not just to them, but also for John Wilson. John's understanding of the world around him grows with each interaction, and because he has the ability to share the journey, so does ours. I think at the surface, the show could be written off as a zany, structureless, mindless quirk. But for me, and I think for everyone else who has become a fan of it, it's profound and affecting. If you've seen any other videos of mine, I'd hope it's clear that I only really shed light on things that really affect me. It's never this channel's objective to convince anyone of anything or to make a strong argument, but only to showcase things that I personally find immense value in. And I'm very pleased to add How To With John Wilson to that list. Like any effective story or film or TV show or book, once you're done with it, its residual effect leaks into your everyday life. And as I carried on with my life after watching this show, I began to pay a lot more attention to the city I lived in. I think if you can exercise your ability to see it all, you'd appreciate the beauty of your surroundings more. 
and ultimately feel connected to it. So, I'm going to give it a shot. Come with me for a brief moment while I attempt to see it all. When you decide to venture out for the sole purpose of looking at things, you might find yourself at first questioning if that's really a reason to do anything. But then you might just decide that the less you think about it, the better. You might walk to a nice park because they can be epicenters of human activity, but you might not find anything interesting. Maybe you'll go to Florida with your loved ones, but have such a nice time that you don't really pull out the camera that much, and when you do, you forgot to film it horizontally. You start saying yes to invitations from friends because you've been kind of distant and feel like you're being a bad friend. You build skate ramps in a hemp barn go to the coast with your girlfriend, and have a lot of fun doing all these things, but feel bad that you're filming everything instead of just being in the moment. Maybe you realize that seeing it all doesn't mean you have to document it. And you can be grateful that John Wilson does, but you can be happy keeping these moments to yourself. And when you get home and curl up with your partner, you can turn on HBO and Watch a show that makes you both happy. And find some relief in knowing that all the craziness of this world stops at the door. And you can rest assured that every day, whether you want to or not, you're at least going to see whatever you seek. That sounds good to me. I'm Andrew Marsden, and thank you for watching my video. Good night.